Action on the door. And dialogue. I am not interested in the excuses for your failure. For hundreds of years, puppeteers have had the same problem. All they can see are the strings and the tops of the puppet's head. But by using this system, they can, for the first time, see exactly what an audience can see. And it's leading to greater subtlety in the puppet movements they create. Jerry had this idea of getting a video camera and sticking it through the eyepiece of the Ariflex. So the camera operator was working it from a monitor. It was yeah. much better for us puppeteers because we could look at the screen right in front of us there. Yeah. And the see exactly what the puppet was doing yeah. without it's... looking down on the top of its head all the time. Because they are behind the puppets while the camera is in front, they have a mirror image on their television screens so that when they move the puppet to the left, the picture moves to the left too. This puppet studio has been experimenting for years with various electronic video systems attached to conventional film cameras. They turned them off for lunchtime once, came back for lunch, switched it all on again. It was completely haywire. Pictures were unviewable. Pictures were rolling over like this, or there were squiggles this way and that way. And and there were, everybody was fiddling with connectors and shaking the wire all the way down, you know. And then eventually they'd make a phone call and then some man with a screwdriver would come down. We were always waiting the whole time. There was so much time was lost. It was incredible that, uh, give Jerry his due, he stuck at it, he stuck with the theory, and it was great. The television picture can also be recorded on videotape. This means that if the director or the cameraman want to check something that's already been filmed, they can play it back immediately. Before, if there was any doubt in their minds, they'd automatically have shot the scene again just to be sure. You have to hand the credit to Jerry Anderson for persevering with the video assist because it's now the norm.